the problem I'm having with my 2006 Silverado is that the air conditioner blower will not shut off. Doesn't matter if the truck's on or off, the AC or heat is on or off, the blower fan just keeps blowing. So, step one, we've got to disable that. I'll show you where to find it on this truck. And right here at the top row, it says 40 amp right here. Now, I took the liberty of popping that out before I started this video. It's a little bit to work with to get it out, so be careful that you don't break it. This part is supposedly the culprit. This is a blower motor resistor. This is the new one, and I'll put a link to this in the description below on this video. And where it's located is down here underneath that box. The size of the bolt heads is 930 seconds, so that's what I've got here on a quarter drive. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on a ratchet. See if we can get these out of here. You only really need to remove two bolts here and here to get this cowling far enough to see the resistor. It's right there. And wouldn't you know it, this of course is a different size bolt too. This is actually a 730 seconds. So the cowling bolts are 930 seconds. The bolts holding the resistor on. 730 seconds now the new and improved one does have a better heat sink but it does require some wiring so you have a small purple wire and a red and a black and these are the wires you're going to be cutting right here the wire so the purple is going to go to that little one and then of course red to red black to black one little tidbit of knowledge I discovered along the way is that this fan is a push in and twist lock in it's that little tab right there. You can literally pull down with your thumb and twist it and the fan will drop and make it very easy to get to that fan plug, which corresponds to the black purple. Here you can see I use some butt connectors to go color for color, purple to purple, black to black, red to red. Uh, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. If you're not familiar with wiring, I'd advise you to get someone who is to help you with this part. And I use some electrical tape to uh, go ahead and tighten up my connection there and make sure these wires don't pull out. Now it's time to hook up the fan and twist it back into place. Okay, we've got our new harness in place. And so we're gonna go ahead and test fit this first to see which way the bolt holes line up. I'm gonna turn it around this way. Those bolt holes back there don't line up. So we're gonna try it this way and uh, see if we can get some screws started. Always test fit since this is an aftermarket part. There's screw number two. Nice snug fit. Harness plugged in. And then we'll tuck these wires up and out of the way and reinstall our protective cowling. Once everything is back together, it's time to go ahead and reinstall this fuse and see if our fan stays on. I don't hear the fan starting, so let's go ahead and put this cover on and let's give it a tick. Remember, you're gonna make sure you've got the one that says auto because if you're working on a vehicle like this one, it's gonna have an automatic AC. Okay, here goes the moment of truth. There we go. We're blowing warm air again, and we can also speed select. And when we shut the truck off, everything shuts down. I hope this helps someone, but uh, that little part, <clears throat> that little resistor is how you fix no variable speed and or fan not shutting off on a Silverado. Y'all have a blessed day.